in this video we will find the derivative of tan inverse x so first of all we will suppose that u is equal to sorry y is equal to tan inverse x or we can write tan y is equal to x we know that tan y is equal to perpendicular upon base in a right angle triangle so we can draw a right angle triangle in which this angle is phi and this angle is 90 degree <coughs> so the side opposite to 90 degree is hypotenuse and the side opposite to y is perpendicular or the side adjacent to y is base so since tan y is equal to x and tan y is equal to perpendicular upon base so we can say that perpendicular upon base is equal to x or we can write perpendicular upon base is equal to x upon y so we can reduce that perpendicular is equal to x and the base is equal to 1 <coughs> now we will apply Pythagoras theorem over here so we have hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so hypotenuse square is equal to 1 square plus x square or we can say hypotenuse square is equal to 1 plus x square or here we can find the value of hypotenuse which is square root of 1 plus x square now tan y is equal to x so we can take the derivative of both sides with respect to x so we have d by dx of tan y is equal to d by dx of x now in order to find the derivative of tan y we have to apply the chain rule so we have d by dy of tan y multiplied by dy by dx is equal to 1 the derivative of x is 1 now the derivative of tan y is equal to sec square y multiplied by dy by dx is equal to 1 or we can write dy by dx is equal to 1 upon sec square y now we have to find the value of sec square y so we can write sec square y as sec y whole square and sec y the value of sec y is hypotenuse upon base and the value of hypotenuse is square root of 1 plus x square and the value of base is 1 so we have square root of 1 plus x square to the power 2 and this square will be cancelled out with this square root so we have 1 plus x square so the value of sec square y is 1 plus x square now we will put the value of sec square y over here so we have dy by dx is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square now we have supposed that y is equal to tan inverse x so we can put the value of y which is tan inverse x over here so we have d by dx tan inverse x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square so the derivative of tan inverse x with respect to x is 1 upon 1 plus x square